Hi friends, I'm Steve Russell with Evergreen Digital Showroom. A question was posed recently on how a person could tell if a 1957 Chevrolet was originally a fuel-injected car or if the fuel injection had been added after the fact. That's a legitimate question as the fuel injection option was very rare and a fuel-injected vehicle brings significantly more money than one that's not. Unfortunately, there's no number or series of numbers that can tell us for sure if this was a fuel injected vehicle or not. There are however some ways that we can take a look at this and see the likelihood of whether it's an original car or it's been cloned by a restorer. The first thing we need to do is check the VIN. While it's not definitive, the VIN can serve to exclude certain vehicles. Chevrolet records show that there was no fuel-injected passenger vehicles built between the introduction of the 1957 models in September of 1956 through January of 1957. Some experts believe there were a few fuel-injected vehicles built in February of 1957, but that cannot be conclusively proven. So, if your vehicle falls in the range there, it's likely been cloned. Let's take a look under the hood for some more examples. It's difficult to see in the light we have available, but there's a stamp pad down in front of the head on the passenger side of the engine. Now, this stamp pad will tell you the plant that the engine was built in, the date that the engine was assembled, and gives you a designation as to what the motor is. This F204 MJ indicates it was assembled in the Flint, Michigan plant on February 4th of 1957 and the MJ indicates it to be a 250 horsepower fuel injected motor. So in theory this is a correct possibility for the motor in this car which was built after March of 1957. Another thing to look for is a black tag on the plenum. This gives you the serial number and the model number of the fuel injection unit. If you don't see a black tag on there, it's likely a reproduction unit and gives you some concern as to the originality of the car. If you find the tag has a model number of 7014960, it's legitimate. If it has a tag that says 7144360, that would indicate that it's on a cor from a Corvette and is likely not the original unit on the vehicle. Another thing that restorers often miss whenever they're cloning a vehicle is this metal support strap that runs from the center of the air cleaner housing down to the thermostat housing. This is something that's often left off and is an attention to detail that can indicate very much that this is a cloned vehicle and not originally a fuel injected car. The bottom line is that when you're looking at a fuel-injected engine in a 1957 Chevrolet passenger car, it's a lot easier to tell if it's not right than if it is an original car. I hope you found this to be interesting. Keep watching for our future videos on our YouTube channel, Evergreen Digital Showroom, and on our Evergreen Digital Showroom Facebook page. Hope you have a great day.